anybody who plays Fortnite would agree that a large majority of fights are decided by a shotgun battle. The process of building, editing, and shooting your opponent at close quarters, it's a skill that is extremely important to master in the realm of competitive Fortnite, right? This skill is box fighting. In many cases, your ability to box fight is the deciding factor and whether you are sent back to the pregame lobby or can continue to compete for that victory royale. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to become better at box fighting. Who wants to become better? <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, we're going to showcase the best routines to practice, how to train your aim, positioning, and much more. So stick around until the end. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. I was actually born to motivate you to not just be ordinary, but to be extraordinary, man. You're called to be great. You're supposed to go after the desires of your heart, man, and do the things that you thought you was never possible. Listen, I'm gonna be explaining why box fighting is the number one skill you should focus on to reach your full potential as a competitive Fortnite player. By improving your box fighting skills, all right, there's a good chance that you might also find yourself high up on the leaderboards in upcoming events. So let me just say this, like with the recent launch of season four, mastering box fighting has become more important than ever. And that's why ProGuys.com has the best coaches to help you guys take your box fighting skills to the next level. We also just implemented a new VOD replay analysis system where you can get to submit your own replays and have them analyzed super fast. Man, let's do the work for you. Like check the link in the description below. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, here we go. It's about that time. Man, if you were part of the Bunch of Crunch Army, you better say this with me right now. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this going. Whether it's watching box fight wagers late at night on Twitch or seeing your favorite professional player put on an opponent in an absolute blender, box fighting is a huge part of Fortnite and wielding a strong skill set in this category is essential to success at the highest level. First things first, all right, what is box fighting? Good question. <laughs> Although the term is fairly vague, box fighting is most often defined as close shotgun fights while building and editing, you know, basically at the same time. In reality, due to a majority of fights being decided by box fights, it's not far fetched to say that there is a strong correlation between the best box fighters in the world and then the best players in the world. Like previously in season three, only two shotgun options were available, the tack shotgun and the charge shotgun. Neither the tack nor the charge was extremely beneficial to use in box Box fights due to the often low damage dealing shots of the tack and the shooting delay of the charge. Specifically with the charge shotgun, it was just difficult to use your box fighting mechanics to your advantage because of how slow you were forced to play simply due to the shooting mechanics of the weapon, right? Like the charge shotgun doesn't reward a fast build, edit, shoot play style. Similarly with the tack shotgun, it was difficult to use your close quarter box fighting mechanics to your advantage simply because the damage threshold was so low. You would constantly find yourself doing 30 to 50 damage versus the 80 to you know 100 plus damage of the pump in previous metas. With the recent release of Chapter 2 Season 4, one of the biggest meta changes we will see is the pace of a box fighting increase drastically. With the shotgun options including the pump, charts, and combat, you know, which was previously introduced in Chapter 1, fast-paced box fighting mechanics became significantly more important overnight. The pump is a high damage dealing weapon that also rewards a fast paced build, edit, shoot playstyle. The combat similar to the TAC is a semi-auto weapon with a tight spread. Unlike the TAC, the combat is a very rewarding thing like to use for players who have precise aim at both close and medium range encounters. Finally, all right, we got the charge shotgun, which is extremely rewarding to individuals who take the time to charge it up prior to shooting. The mechanics of the charge shotgun are a very good balancing agent to the other two shotgun options when it comes to box fighting. So a player playing fast with a pump or a combat can be effectively neutralized with one heavy hitting shot from a charge shotgun. If you consider yourself a competitive Fortnite player, all right, you've without a doubt come across players like Benji Fishy or Clicks whose box fighting mechanics come next to none, man. Whether it's watching them play late night wagers on stream or witnessing one of them put someone in an absolute blender in a tournament, it's a very apparent thing that these two like have some of the best mechanics in the world. It's not a coincidence that they are likewise two of the best players in the world as well. 
Box fighting is something that at the surface level seems very simple in a mode like creative, but during an actual match is quite complex. When you encounter an opponent in a game of Fortnite, any experienced player always makes getting height early in the fight a priority. When the player loses height, they have one or two options. Option one is that they can use materials, potentially exposing themselves to a damage dealing shot from their opponent to attempt to retake height. Okay, the player that has height has an instant advantage in the fight because of the pressure that they can just apply to their opponent and overall positioning. Option number two is you box up and make your opponent drop down to fight, essentially leading to a box fight. In competitive Fortnite, the material cap is only 1,500 math, meaning every player in a competitive mode is only allowed to house 1,500 builds at any point. This makes option number one like significantly less viable because realistically, you would be using a significant amount of materials to try and retake height. This leads to a majority of players electing to take option two, which leads to a box fight, making that player's ability to box fight extremely important. So at this point, it's overly apparent that box fighting is without a doubt the most important skill to yield when dropping out of the battle bus. With that being said guys, let's break down one of the best box fighters in the game, Clicks. In this situation, we see here, and I mean like right here, Clicks encounter Ghost's former professional player, Saf. As discussed above, Sav takes height early, and Click selects to give him height and make Sav come down to fight him, which is good. When Sav drops, Click manages to get him coned in for a face-and-face -face encounter. Following Sav takes the wall, separating them and edits a window. Clicks, recognizing this, proceeds to strafe right of the window to turn, not giving Sav a heavy damage dealing shot. Clicks then uses the ramp behind him to exploit into Sav's box and lands his shot before placing a ramp. Clicks then edits the ramp, separating the two players in the same box and proceeds to edit his way out, effectively stalling the fight for that moment in time. Clicks then drops low ground into his own box to pop shields before re-engaging the fight. When Sap drops down to take Clicks' wall, Clicks is popping a big shield. He calculates how long it will take Sap to break his wall, and he compares that to how long it would take him to finish drinking his shield, and he elects to continue drinking it. He then immediately turns around, placing a ramp in his box to separate the two once again, knowing Sap was going to take the wall. He then predicts Sav's next two plays, and he lands two clean edits, using his shotgun to crack his shield, and then switching to his burst assault rifle to finish the fight at a medium range. Clicks' understanding of angles and timing alongside his ability to predict what his opponent was going to do won him this fight. Alright, if you want to be as good as Clicks at box fighting, stop by our website ProGuys.com and check out some of the best pro coaches in the scene who could really take your box fighting to the next level. All right, so at this point, you must be wondering, how can I possibly become a dominant box fighter? Well, good question. There are three important things to consider when improving your box fighting skills. All right, here we go. First, peace control. Peace control is a player's ability to place builds precisely. Knowing exactly when and where you're going to place a specific build is essential to box fighting for two reasons. First, material conservation. When you are limited to only 150 builds, it's important not to misplace builds. Make every keystroke count, man. Like, secondly, coverage. By having good peace control, you know when a part of you is potentially exposed to your opponent. If you aren't certain where every build has been placed, there is a chance that you might be left overexposed, giving your opponent a window to take damage dealing shots on you. The second important thing to consider when improving at box fighting is to understand angles and peaks. So important, man. I say this all the time. Fortnite being a third-person shooter sometimes makes angles and peaks more difficult. In certain cases, players overexpose themselves during peaks because they haven't mastered the understanding of certain angles. Taking adequate time to learn which part of your player model is exposed when making a specific edit as well as understanding, you know, what parts of your opponent's player model will be exposed during your peak is essential to winning box fights. A prime example of this is right versus left-handed peaks. Any experienced Fortnite player knows that right-handed peaks are significantly more beneficial than left-handed peaks due to both the player models and field of view in-game. Lastly, but certainly not least, guys, is speed. Being able to build and edit precisely is one thing, but being able to build and edit at speed, <laughs> that leaves your opponent with almost no time to react, and it really puts you in a significant advantage in every single fight. This is especially important in box fights. Housing the ability to edit, shoot, and reset your edit before your opponent can land a damage dealing shot back will instantly improve your box fighting mechanics dramatically. In the realm of box fighting, speed and peace control go hand in hand. Although speed is something that comes with time, focusing on improving your speediness alongside peace control is a deadly combination. 
As your peace control skills increase, your speed will naturally get faster. As you get more comfortable placing bills precisely with set combinations or strategies, you seemingly begin to build faster and faster. Without a doubt, man, becoming a good box fighter is extremely important, you know, especially to be successful in this game. By advancing your box fighting skills, you're going to exponentially improve as a competitive player and will surely find yourself approaching the top of the leaderboard the next event. Like, do you think box fighting is the most important skill to focus on? Well, we sure do. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. All right, guys, once again, this is not your ordinary guy. This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. No matter what mountains are surrounding you, no matter what obstacles, what struggles, man, if you're depressed, if you're being anxious, don't worry, guys, you're gonna get through this time in your life. Just keep going and don't give up, all right? Connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. All right, guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, keep eating that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going.